Hello there, I'm Jordan Collier and today we'll be reviewing the tips, tricks, ins and outs of how to best organize a watch list to track your portfolio's progress across multiple platforms you may be invested in and as well as curate a watch list tailored to different sectors or asset classes or really whatever you want in the Yahoo Finance app. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video as I'll be showing you how to install a shortcut stock screener in one of your watch lists. Now, I'll be reviewing this app from an iPad, as most of our investing is done on mobile anyways, and this way it gives a better mirror image of how you are most likely organizing your watch list. Also keep in mind, you will need to create a Yahoo email account if you would like to create multiple watch lists, but those prompts will come up automatically when we get to the section of creating watch lists. Now firstly, what is a watch list? As the name implies, it is a specific list of, say, stocks, as an example you have interest in and want to monitor closely. Now once you head into the, yeah, uh, the, the App Store, download Yahoo Finance, and open it up, you're given this blank screen. At the top is a search bar, let's hit that. And I already have some preloaded search results. Let's click Algonquin. Maybe this is a stock you, you would like to add to a watch list. Um, under where it says details is a little star near the top right hand corner. Let's hit that. And we'll populate it into an unnamed uh, watch list. Let's hit back. If you want to change the name of the list, in the top right hand corner is a pencil icon. And let's change this to Quest Trade. I'll click Save. Now perhaps you want to add more stocks to this particular watch list. Beside the pencil icon is a plus. Let's hit that. And we'll add TD to it. Click Done. Now beside each stock price, you see a, rectang a rectangular um, percentage amount. If you hit that, it'll change it to a dollar figure to revert it back, just hit it again. Uh, we'll skip details and go right over into holdings. You'll see a bunch of columns that have nothing in them. Under the share column, you can actually add a stock price you bought something at and then the quantity. Let's add it again for Algonquin 2187 per se. And now it gives you an aggregate for the, the watch list. Okay, now beside, on the right hand side you see holdings, there's a perforated box, you can hit that and you can see um, just a blown up view of all the information that you may find relevant. Let's hit X to exit out of there. Um, under customize columns at the very bottom of your watch list, we can hit that, just play around with it. If you uncheck a bunch of these boxes and save, and you try to scroll across the screen of your watch list, you won't be able to. Perhaps you find some of this information relevant, you don't care to see it, but if you want all of it, recheck all those boxes. Um, each row has these three little lines. If you, if you hold down on it, you can actually move it around. Maybe you wanna see something, and rather than scrolling over, you can place it anywhere and save it. Now if you want to create another watch list, under holdings on the left hand side is three little dots. Let's hit that create list and let's say you have stocks in a different account. Let's add some symbols. Perhaps you have some ETFs in a different account. And just for argument's sake, let's add in some prices and quantity of shares. Now as you skip back between uh, the different watch lists, you'll see that each one has a different um, dollar figure amount. But on the left hand side under holdings, it's now tracking um, both watch lists as long as you've entered quantities into the shared column over here on this side. Now under holdings, under those three dots, you can also um, just, you can also move them around 
however you feel. Now, in the holdings rectangular box, you'll see a little I crossed out. If you hit that, it will actually hide the dollar figure amount. Hit it again to get your dollar figure amounts back. Now we can also create another watch list that maybe you're just simply interested in. Let's just say energy as an example. Let's add Suncor and Enbridge and done. And as long as you don't add in anything into the shared folder here, um, it is simply just a way to um, keep, keep tabs on, on a sector you're interested in or an asset class for that matter, like say ETFs. Now that pretty much wraps up uh, this review for this section of organizing a watch list. At the very bottom of your screen, if you head over to the search column, you'll see popular watch lists. If you load more, and head all the way down to largest 52 week losses. You can hit follow under description view about this list. You'll see Yahoo Finance Screener, hit that and you'll be automatically taken to a stock screener. And if we go back to home, you'll see that this is now watch list. If you found this video helpful, then please do the cliche thing and force choke all the buttons of the like and subscribe variety. Make your voices heard in the comments below to help me better create content focused on what this community wants to see. Until next time, thanks guys.